I love this so much. I don't want to. I hope everyone's having as good of a start to their day as he is. We just got back from like a one and a half mile walk. Are you happy? You're cooling off? That's nice, Lenny. He is so funny. <laughs> Are you a happy dog? Another week, another vlog. Hello, all. We just got back from a, like a 20, 27 minute walk. We did 1.32 miles. We've been getting closer and closer every day back to four miles. Yesterday we did like 3.66 for the entire day. Wanted to get back to like four to five because that's what we used to do. Amazing, it felt so good, very good for the mentee um so yeah i um i'm already in a good mood because i started my day active i'm just in a good mood every single day i've noticed i'm in a better and better and better mood and it's because my mind does very very well when i'm active i have not done any videos for youtube at all i was talking to one of my friends yesterday and i was like i'm just not i don't know what it is i'm not feeling inspired to grab the camera, to vlog, to do really anything, and I don't know why. I think because I've just been, I mentioned in my last vlog, I've been busy with style clients, which I am so incredibly, incredibly grateful for. I've already had two this month, and I just got contacted for another one, so I am just so grateful because, one, I love doing it. Like, I really feel like this is what I was meant to do, and it just makes me super happy helping people with their wardrobes, with their closets, finding new things for them, styling pieces that they might be stuck on, how to style. I love 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 doing it and it's also like another source of income for me so um no i see you are you trying to come inside know what the last thing i said was but you guys look at how cute my new shoes came in that my mom got me so fun they got here yesterday um like yesterday evening so there's the lineup as of right now i feel like i need one more color and then i'm done that's like good like i'm good for my shoe collection i ordered a little clutch bag to go with like to go with them which i shouldn't have because I already ordered my item for the month, so I kind of cheated. But maybe that just means I won't buy anything for me. I don't know. Went to Aldi yesterday. We did such a big freaking compra. Like, holy crap, we did such a big compra. I did a TikTok video on it, but I didn't. Like I said, I haven't been feeling like vlogging. But I got tons of veggies. I already prepped a whole bunch of them. I got non-fat greek yogurt i got egg whites another creamer we got tons of stuff for like sandwiches like cube cheese this i used yesterday monster cheese habanero jack cheese we have some turkey breast this dill dip is delicious some sourdough and then tons of vegetables zucchini cedar salad cilantro bell peppers got some mandarins some lettuce uh, what else did we get? I got this pizza that I'm really excited to try. I might make this like a random weekend day. Chicken flatbread pizza. We already had all of our meats. I got this little acai bowl. Um, never had this. I've never even seen it before. So pretty excited to try that. Um, and then we got a couple things for the pantry. Nothing too much. We got Tyler grabbed these. Brownie mix. Chewy fudge brownie mix. And Reese's lava cake mix. Um, what else did I get? 
black beans, tomato sauce, like the usual stuff there. So I'm like stocked up and it was only a hundred bucks. It was so I'm about to make myself something to eat because at two o'clock I have my orthopedic appointment, which I'm kind of interested to see how it's gonna go. Um, it's a specialist, like an orthopedic specialist. So I'm interested what they're gonna say. We have to review my results from my MRI. I think I'm gonna make just like this vegetable combo that I have. I'll show you guys what's in it real quick. Sweet potatoes, bell peppers, onions, zucchini, and I think that's it. So it's just like a big hash and I love making something like this like one day like i made this all yesterday in the oven and then anytime i'm like oh i don't know what to eat i can just warm that up and add some sort of protein or something and it's like a whole little meal maybe i'll put some oven roasted turkey as well because i have some i have some avocados in the oven which I don't know if any of you guys, I know Hispanics do this, at least Puerto Ricans do, but I'm sure it's not just Puerto Ricans. Um, if you buy avocados and they're not maduro, um, soft, ripe, if you just store them in the oven, obviously with the oven off, like don't turn the oven on. But if you just store them in the oven, it ripens them, like it helps ripen them faster. Like this avocado, honestly, it's still a little hard. So all these avocados are hard as hell. By tomorrow, these will probably all be ready. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling so freaking good because of the fact that I've been um, going on my walks every day. Obviously burning calories, which is great. I haven't been like eating anything specific. I've just been trying to eat tons and tons of vegetables um mainly veggies like i'm trying to load up my vegetables eat lots and lots of fruit um eat yummy delicious things and i have been feeling freaking incredible i've had so many things just like meal prepped and ready to go i'm gonna cut up or just rip up a couple pieces of turkey all right you guys showing you my delicious yummy and very healthy and colorful breakfast so i have Zucchinis, bell peppers, onions, and sweet potato here. And then I don't know how many egg whites. Some egg whites, a little sh sprinkle of shredded cheese, and then some sriracha. So I'm going to devour this with my water. And then I'm jumping in the shower and I'm getting ready for the day. I feel really motivated. So I'm like excited to film. I love filming when I feel like this. Damn, my plantar fasciitis is activated yes it is my freaking foot you guys i'm falling apart clearly falling apart i need a mirror gonna do a quick regular makeup no i'm not changing my makeup routine like somebody told me to switch up my makeup routine like no what do you mean switch up my makeup routine i don't want to if you want somebody to use a whole bunch of different makeup all the time we're on the channel. I use what I own, and then when it runs out, that's when I get something new. Doing my regular schmegular degular makeup routine. I am going to attempt to do a video, a style video today that is like using like one outfit but style different ways. So like the maybe I'll do like a pant and a shirt and then style that pant and shirt different ways like make different outfits out of them my um item that i bought for myself for the month of april is out for delivery i'm really excited i got it from the website dish um which is a beautiful beautiful australian brand i have a couple things from them um they have fantastic linen like 100 percent linen it's a little bit more i don't even want to say pricey because i feel like the quality of it is worth the price of it incredible quality um i have linen pants from there i got them a while ago and they're beautiful beautiful quality so they had this dress that i've been wanting for a really long time and it was on sale for like 
a hundred dollars off i think it was like fifty dollars and i really think that that concludes like what i want in my wardrobe for spring and summer um yeah i don't the only thing that like i'm thinking of for my next purchase if i end up doing may or if i skip it um i want a new belt like i want like a really really nice belt like a black belt with like a nice buckle and like a thick belt because i do have like thinner belts that i really really do like that were really affordable from amazon but i want like a really nice like thick belt with a really really beautiful buckle i've been looking at some from madewell Cezanne, below the belt um I've looked at a couple different brands to see which one I end up wanting to get, which I'm okay with investing in like a leather belt, especially if I'm going to have it for like ever and ever. And it's just going to like spruce up simple outfits. So I think that's going to be my next item because clothing wise, I don't really think I need anything. I have all the linen pant colors I need. Now I think that like I'll want more like accessory style things like, um, like I said, the belt, maybe like a fun bag, some more sunglasses, like little things like that. I don't necessarily need like jewel or clothing items, which is a very good place to be in. This bronzer like barely shows up on me because it's like my skin tone. Once I get like the final pieces, which the last piece should come tomorrow, I think. Maybe I'll do like a video roundup of everything that I added to my closet since January. Um, and then I'll do another one like later on in the year, maybe like November, December. Yeah, I think that'd be fun of what I've like sat down and thought about and really, like really, really wanted to add to my wardrobe. You guys, this necklace that I bought on Amazon, I've worn it a million times. I am so impressed with how good the quality is because I expected this to tarnish like right away and it hasn't and I sprayed perfume on it I've done all that and it looks so good still I'll leave a link down below if anybody wants like a cute chunky necklace but yeah just recapping that because I've worn it a lot I've worn it with all different types of like fragrances and all of that and it still looks really really good okay guys so I am just finishing up I need to pull this piece back um filming like a whole bunch of content so i have to get ready to basically head out i am itching to stop at trader joe's because ranunculus are in season and that is my favorite flowers are tulips and then right after are ranunculus and probably peonies i feel like peonies is like everybody's favorite because it's just so beautiful but love them but anyways here is today's outfit of the day repeating a ton of things that i always wear so the denim button up that i cut I have on the white um, version of the strapless that I wear all the time. My white linen pants from H&M. My new sneakers that my mom got me that I love. I have on my Amazon necklace and the earrings that I got to go with the shoes. They're so fun. Um, so yeah, I um, am getting ready. I don't have to leave here until like... 1 30 but i do need to fill out a ton of paperwork that they emailed me and i haven't done it yet so i need to do that and then i will see you guys at my appointment and got scheduled for a follow-up appointment for like the end of may um oh my god you guys also last night tyler and i went to um this new place that just opened and as i was walking in my freaking glasses snapped in half so tyler was like okay let me see if i can fix them and he fixed them and they were fine and then they just snapped again so i have to get new glasses now but like y'all what happened here so i have to get new glasses like immediately see i need to call my um the eye doctor and get my prescription so i can probably order like some cheap ones because i do need to schedule an eye doctor appointment because i'm pretty sure i need a stronger prescription i'm gonna go to trader joe's Trader Joseph's Tradarius Joseph like they call him on call him like they say it on TikTok. Wow, I'm shocked. This is the emptiest I've ever seen this parking lot. Wow. All right. I haven't come to Trader Joe's in such a long time. Let's go. It is empty today. 
look at how pretty. Got my flowers and a couple things. Wow, it is so hot. Like I'm sweating and my hot, my house is hot. Um, I'm annoyed because my package delivered, but they delivered it to my next door neighbor and I just went over there and I rang the doorbell, but they didn't answer. So I'm gonna have to go over there again later. I'm so annoyed. They had a package at their door, but it wasn't mine. So I don't know if like they put my package underneath that and I don't wanna just like touch their mail. So I'm gonna go over there later and see. Anyways, I'll show you guys for now what I got from uh, Trader Joe's. So I went in obviously for the ranunculus and they were so pretty. I was torn between this color or the orange, but I don't know, I was really gravitating towards the pink. I got a pack of seaweed for like Asian bowls. I got hot and sweet jalapenos and chicken soup dumplings. I spent 15 bucks, 15, 21. So not too bad. Finally opened my package. I don't remember if I said my neighbor just dropped it off, but here it is. It is exactly what I wanted. I literally just wanted a maxi dress that was a big piece of fabric, which I guess that's what maxi dresses are. But it is black, 100% cotton. It has an elastic whatever this is called, like stretchy top part. And yeah, this is like perfect. I might try to remove a little bit of the fabric cause it's a lot of fabric. Like I might try to do it like something like this. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if I can get it taken in. And then I don't remember if I said it has pockets already. Oh my God, where's the freaking pockets? There they are. So yeah, just imagine like after the beach, after the pool, going to get dinner, nice and tropical. This way, there we go. Cute little tropical outfit, comfy, you can breathe, you can eat Chipotle. I love this so much. And a Eat your food. Hello you guys, it has been a whole day since I vlogged because, hold on. Um, I did my physical therapy. I had to go get my prescription for my muscle relaxers that I was prescribed by my, the doctor, the orthopedic doctor. Um, I came home and I worked. I did some TikTok videos. I did all that stuff. Um, I had a client consultation call. And I just went on a three mile walk with Leonard. So we did almost, we did 4.4 miles today, which is freaking amazing. Um, and I was just sitting down, but I just got a package, which is the cute little green bag. Damn, I wish it was bigger, but. Yeah, I wish it was bigger, but it's cute. This is the newest little dumpling bag that I got. I really like this texture for uh, spring summer because it's like a towel, like a terry cloth. It's a little bit brighter than the shoes. If you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I don't care. Finally starting to get warm. Um, I am like sweating through my bra, like very badly. 
um and i'm super excited because in a future vlog i got reached out to by a furniture company that wanted me to pick something out for the house so of course i picked something for the backyard i was like oh it makes so much sense to get something for the back so i'm really excited for that to get here and show it to you guys i haven't shown you guys the backyard in a while i feel like i haven't just like talked to you guys in a while my lemon tree is getting so big this is it now it used to be like all the way down here and it just like popped out of nowhere it's looking very lush and green however it's not lemon season anymore but my oregano is basically taking over the entire backyard all of this is oregano um this is basil shit this is basil that is regrowing now and i don't know if you guys can see i have a tiny little pepper coming in i'm zooming into it these are red bell peppers so it has to change it's obviously really really little but i have a red bell pepper there and my rosemary is growing great i told tyler um i want to get a new tomato plant and this little area is where like the everything grows so well like i don't know what it is about the soil in this section but it's like lit so i want to put all everything here um and then my avocado tree she's growing she's still little but she's growing i cut a lot of it off my mom told me to so i chopped a lot of it off like a big chunk of it and it grew back like crazy so that's good my i have a lemon here but i don't think it's good pretty sure it's not good yeah um that is out of papayas i take all my papayas to the girls at the chiropractor office because they just eat them up this freaking hell this tree is full if you guys can see right there there are so many papayas in there and then this tree has just a couple not too many they're all green though one is randomly sitting there and one is on the ground i don't know if this is even yeah but it's a beautiful 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 evening golden hour back here and the sunset is always like top tier what's up guys another day in the vlog and i am getting ready for my friends to come over we're gonna have just a little casual pool day just gonna chill today is actually tyler and i's two-year legal wedding anniversary we got married in the courthouse april 18th two years ago um we said we weren't going to be like celebrating it as our anniversary but i still like to like acknowledge it because we legally became husband and wife that day um so later on i think we're gonna go grab dinner like i told him i was like i really would like to go to dinner and i told him i wanted to treat him so i was like i want to take you to dinner for our anniversary and he was like really and i was like yeah i haven't treated him to dinner in a really long time so i want to treat him to dinner and i'm very very excited um i think i want to go to like armando's like something that i know is going to be good so that's going to be what my day is like i'm sweeping the floors a little bit just like kind of tidying up we already went for a one mile walk um and i'm making myself breakfast at the same time right now we're literally just going to vibe at the pool like i finished i batch created a whole bunch of content i took one of the muscle relaxers last night because i really wanted to see how it felt um my well it was the nurse practitioner that i saw he told me that they're safe they're not addicting um and he gave me a really really low dosage so he's like if you're feeling pain or anything like that just take that because it'll relax your muscles um from overworking to compensate for like your herniations i was kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie like i was like oh my god like am i gonna feel crazy i've never ever taken medication like that before and it was amazing i slept so well he was like it's gonna make you sleepy um he was like i don't recommend taking it at night so i took it literally right before bed and it was amazing i slept so well but it wasn't like a nyquil type sleep like when i sleep when i take nyquil i'm like done like i am out but this it was like i woke up a couple times but i still had the drowsiness in me so i was able to fall back asleep really really easily and i slept that was like the best rest i've gotten 
in a really long time. Like I really felt like my body rested. What's up everyone? After I leave therapy, I have to run just a quick couple of errands um, because I need a couple things. Um, we're about to be out of toilet paper, so I was gonna run to Publix really quickly, and then um, at Publix, I'm gonna see what their bogos are, if they have any bogos for Prosecco, because I'm having my friend over tomorrow for a late birthday pool day. Also wanna go to Five Below and see if, actually there's an a five below by aldi so maybe i'll just go to aldi instead so i figured i'd just bring you guys with me for the day because it's really early it's 10 40 my appointment's at 11 and then it's cleaning day so i figured i would just show you guys kind of what's going on for most of the day and then that'll be the end of the vlog because i don't want to show cleaning again like i do that so often um so i figured we could have a little shopping time i don't want to spend too much money i just want to grab like a couple things and be done so uh i will take you guys along for my day you guys i just found some of the best stuff at aldi i'm so excited i spent 42 bucks they even have an olipop dupe i look crazy um but i'm gonna stop into five below because it's right there i'm just gonna see if they have like maybe one or two cute floaties. Um, their floaties aren't the best quality, honestly. Most floaties aren't from the experience that I've had. I have spent up to $100 on floats and granted, Leonard popped one, two, maybe like three of my floats, so it has nothing to do with the quality of the float. But um, yeah, Five Below's aren't like the best quality. They're not big, so. Hopefully it's not busy. Shouldn't be. It's like midday. Look at these tumblers. I kind of want to get one for Tyler. Oops. I feel like I'm going to get him one. Wow, these fall very easily. This is super cute. We have tons of floats, so I got two. They have so many floats. So I got this and two floats. So good. Lots of stuff. All right, it's haul time. Hi, Lenny. First, let me show you what I got at Five Below. They had so many cute little pool things. So I got a sit and float, this blue floaty, and it has a cup holder. I thought that would just be good to have overall. They had these LED balls, and I have been looking at something like this since before we bought the house. I wanted like white glowing LED balls, um, but I couldn't find them specifically in white. They had like colorful ones, kind of like this. This is what they look like on the back. So I got just one. They had a ton of them, but I want to test one out because... It was extremely affordable, so I just want to make sure that it's not like sh absolute shit quality. Um, is this clear? Oh my god, if it's clear, I'm going to be so hyped. It is. That is fire. Select one of seven colors to display. Wow. Oh, yep. Oh my God, now I feel like I need to go back and get more because you can change them. Um, I will probably go back and get more, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, an, an inflatable LED ball. I think this was like four bucks. I got one of these pocket loungers, which like you just lay on it and it has like a ton of little, uh, it looks like cup holders kind of, I don't know, but I got one of these in orange. You guys know I like all the colors. Give me all the colorful shit. Two of these. I got just a um, cord thing. And then I got this for Tyler because he never drinks enough water. Um, so I'm just, I got him one of these to keep like by the bed when he's doing stuff outside. Damn, this shit is tight. Um, all of the above. So, and it's black, perfect, manly, boring, whatever. Now for Aldi, I spent. 42.83, you guys. 
I got birthday cake yogurt covered pretzels. That sounds divine. I got a pink, sparkling pink lemonade that's naturally flavored. And I love this packaging. I have bottles like this that I fill for like water. So once I'm finished with this, I'm just gonna take this wrapper off, all these papers, and I'm gonna save this. I got a Prosecco. These look good. They're the specially selected cookies and cream desserts. Tyler loves these, but this is a new flavor. So grab these to try. The stuffed cream cheese jalapenos, and they're like in a breading. These are so good, like as like a poolside snack. Delish. I got garlic parmesan fries that I'm gonna make tomorrow with um, veggie non pizzas. I got another one of these acai berry bowls because it was really good. I really enjoyed having that. I got honey goat cheese that I'm going to put onto the pizzas with the veggies and then I'm gonna drizzle them with hot honey. It's gonna be really good, so I got that. Lemons for spritzes. I got this seasoning. It's butter garlic grill seasoning. I thought that would be delicious on literally anything. This looked like an Olipop dupe. It's the strawberry vanilla prebiotic soda. Very similar, so I'm gonna see how the flavor tastes. And then I got this Asian barbecue Japanese style sweet and tangy sauce. It's soy sauce, wine, mir mirin wine, rice vinegar, garlic, onion, and ginger. So, I'm gonna try that out. So, that's everything that I got. I feel like that was really successful. Spent like 70 bucks, got all this. I think that's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, now I'm about to um, start cleaning up get everything ready i need to put our comforter outside to dry i need to eat something for breakfast or lunch at this point because i haven't eaten that's going to be the end of today's vlog this was a whole week of vlogging trying to get back into my vibe of filming but for now you're getting a vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one